welcome back to another video. I'm Tom Quigley, bringing you the latest tips, tricks and techniques for all your contemporary painting and drawing needs. So I hope everyone's okay at home on lockdown. Um, hopefully this video is a good distraction for you. Uh, today we're going to be discussing, I'm going to be demonstrating how to use charcoal. And I thought it's a, it's a fantastic material to use. Um, and I think it's a very good transition from pencil or graphite uh, into another medium. One, that it's, it's a black and white tonal material. Uh, two, it's, it's another dry material. Um, and there's a couple of other things that I really want to discuss as well. A, a few people are afraid of using charcoal and there's no reason you should be. Um, in fact, it's one of the most forgiving materials that you can use. I think a lot of people uh, tend to think it's a very messy material, um, but hopefully the technique that I'm going to show you today is actually this is going to be part one of, of three ways of using charcoal. Um, and this particular technique, hopefully, should um, make you feel a little bit more confident from using it. Thirdly, it's a good transition um, charcoal. You can actually combine it with a lot of wet base materials, such as maybe acrylic paint, even oil paint if you wanted to. Some artists use an underlying drawing before starting their painting, but actually it can be combined as you know a strong enough material to stand up against the painting and actually feature as part of the painting as well. So I feel like it's a good transition going from dry base materials into, into painting in the future. So what we're going to do, first of all, I'm going to set up the camera to show you how to use the material um, in a number of ways for the demonstration I'm going to show you today. And then I'm actually going to feature maybe a time lapse of um, a development drawing that I've done previously. And then we can maybe discuss um, for the next future videos how we're going to use charcoal, how it can make, you know, be a fundamental part of material within your own work. So hopefully you're looking forward to the video and I'll uh, see you in a minute. Bye. Okay, so you found me at my sketchbook now and I've drawn out six boxes. Uh, they're, they're not the neatest, they're just uh, quite roughly drawn. And a particular reason why I've done that is that we just need to experiment with the material before we use it on a final piece. It's always good to use, um, you know, do some experimentation. A lot of people, especially if you take GCS or A level, uh, sometimes they tend to, um, you know, if they hear the word experiment, they tend to use a lot of materials. But what it actually means is experimenting or exhausting the material that it is. How can I use this material in multiple ways uh, to try and get some mark making techniques in there or just discover new ways of using it? So for the people who have never used charcoal before, um, this particular charcoal, you can get it in a number of different types. You can get charcoal dust, which is compressed uh, charcoal. This is actually willow charcoal. So it's very, very fragile, very, very brittle. Um, and the process of, of basically making it is that it's put into a container, heated up um, to a high temperature, and then it's dried out. And that's the, that's the end result. So it's very, very light material, very, very brittle. Um, and if it does break, not to worry about it too much. So what we're going to do in the first box? Well, this one is just a uh, weight of line. So we did this previously uh, using the pencil, except we haven't got a really um, sharpened edge on there. We're just going to use the edge where I've just snapped it. So I just want you practicing using the weight of line, pressing a little bit harder and lighter on there. Okay, just getting used to it. You can see there, I'm actually twisting it in my hand there. Just gets a little bit more organic lines that are going through. Okay, we've got that one on there. So the next one, what I want you to think about using the charcoal is I'm just going to make it up into a little bit smaller piece. Is actually using the side of it, and you will be using this on the my final piece. Uh, one. You can create an incredibly thick line using that. Secondly, it's easy to create a base layer by using the side of the uh, charcoal on there. So, again, overlaying layers. And you can do layers over the top if you were to do lines. The next one, I'm actually going to do exactly the same thing. So I'm just going to cover the whole box. And I'm just going to smudge it in there, try and keep it relatively neat. So there's a difference here between the two. I've got some really nice texture happening in using the charcoal without blending it. Here I've got a very smooth transition. 
So depending what textural surface you're trying to recreate, remember that there's different ways of using it. Now, a key fundamental um, ingredient that we're going to be using is the rubber. Um, and the reason for that is that I can draw back into it, uh, which is really quite nice. Um, say, for example, you're doing some highlights. Now, we did this previously in, in the pencil drawing, um, but I just want you to play around with maybe some marks making into there. That's quite a nice way of working to it. You also might want to think about, uh, let's move down to this box over here. Like I did lines on there, you might want to mimic some other mark making. It might be some bushes, it might be trees. Just have fun with it. That's all it's for. And the next one, I just want you to think about maybe going from dark to light. Well, I'm actually going to add a little bit of water to it. I said before about the fixative. The water actually fixes it as well, which is quite a nice thing. And once this dries, I can work back over the top of it. So working in layers on there. Okay, so what we're going to do now, we're going to uh, move on to the final piece of work. I'm going to show you a time lapse of it there using some of these techniques that I've used. And yeah, hopefully you sit back and enjoy and feel a little bit more confident using charcoal. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed the introduction onto charcoal. Um, as I said before, this is part one. We've got two more parts that I still want to show you how to use and how versatile the material is. We're going to be looking at combining material with some other materials. We're also going to be working on different surfaces as well, which is really quite nice. So if you like this video, please uh, like or subscribe. Um, and if you want to see any uh, future videos, please click the notification button and I'll see you on the next video. Cheers. Bye.